Hello folks, Paul here, UK Rails and More. Uh, so for today's video, just while we look at uh, a few of these little pictures of the river module of the new layout and building, um, I thought I'd just explain uh, a little bit about today's video. Uh, so it's going to continue the uh, Peak Forest Ops uh, series of three videos, which is just looking at the uh, operations of uh, Peak Forest and the various uh, shunting and passing trains that you get going on through there. Uh, if anyone knows any different, I have sort of uh, aimed it at someone who's not familiar with the area, uh, but if we've got any experts or drivers that uh, can add anything to it, then by all means, uh, I'd be really grateful if you could uh, leave a comment about that. Uh, I'm no expert, it's just the fact I'm, uh, I'm sort of seeing what I uh, observe really and then just commenting on that. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy that. There's one more to come. If you've not seen the first one, then uh, please have a look at that. Um, but uh, what I'm going to do is after that, uh, I'll put just an update on the river module, uh, which will include the preparation for some of the that ballasting, and I'm actually starting some of the ballasting. Uh, and of course, adding another layer of varnish to the uh, river as well. So I hope you enjoy the video. A uh, big thank you to everyone who's recently subscribed and to uh, everyone just for watching the video and commenting on it. And if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. I'll uh, speak to you very soon. Bye for now.
Hello folks and welcome back to the uh, video. Uh, today it's just uh, a little bit of an interim uh, one really, just to uh, let you know about some ballasting. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the recent uh, Peak Forest videos. Uh, but yeah, what I've been doing in the meantime is just working a little bit on the ballasting on this lower level embankment. Uh, I've basically been using the uh, Gauge Masters. Um, that's like the uh, granite ballast. And then also the uh, the brown ballast as well, uh, along with some of the uh, in there. It's just the uh, that coffee uh, material basically. Um, and what I've been doing is just uh, liberally kind of uh, painting uh, a UPA UPV uh, or PVA and water mix, uh, mixing that uh, so it can get really into all of the uh, the gaps. Um, there's loads of different ways to do this it's just the way I've, I've experimented with a few different ways and I found this is quite a good one uh, so what I've been doing is, is doing that and then actually laying the ballast on top of it uh, and then actually uh, just wiping the actual track uh, as much as you can do that and with a matchstick just in the gaps to make sure there's no straggling bits um, and then you can run a coach over it as long as it uh, goes quite smoothly you can always just polish it off afterwards um, and that seems to be the best uh, technique I've, I've done just so far um, so yeah what I've done is I've uh, used a combination of different types so in some areas I've used the granite uh, and then some areas I've used the brown and really just trying to experiment with bits where new uh, ballast has started to be uh, put down and then I've also used the coffee just sprinkling it in uh, in areas where you just get that little bit of patchiness where you get very old material and here this is just purely an experimental bit but I've seen it before on the main lines where you get embankments where you'll actually get the ballast or the uh, material that actually slides down whether it's a bit of landslip or whether it's just a bit of overspill more likely overspill um, and then I've just tried that with some of the coffee just as an experiment just see what it looks like obviously it needs the scenery just finishing off at this bit but I thought in the meantime I'll just use up some of the paint and see how that works I've seen it on the real thing and it looks it looks quite good but I thought using the really old kind of that might look like really old sort of oxide type ballast but uh, yeah that's where I'm up to uh, for now um, I'll bring you back for a more detailed update but I thought I'd just capture this while it's still uh, being worked on so you can see it when it's you know uh, just being freshly laid and the good thing with this is you know if there's bits where you you miss tiny little bits like there or it doesn't quite form just how you want it you can always just uh, put a bit more pva on like that that bit was just a bit patchy and then just add to it and the more patchy you get it really the more kind of realistic to the prototype it uh it is but yeah uh, other things the river i've just put another coat on it uh, thanks to everyone who uh, made comments on it and people seem to be really impressed with the, uh, the realism and uh, it does uh, I'm quite pleased with the varnish and I think obviously it is actually really wet now but when it dries the idea is the more it does the more coats go on it the more you get an idea of depth around the edges and then that sandbank there that's probably going to be covered in water I was thinking maybe have it as a bit of a slight island which it could still be but just for now i'm going to see what the effect is so it looks as if it's just very shallow submerged and then i've just got the lighter colors around the edges and then the black almost just in the middle just showing the deep patches so yeah hope you've uh, enjoyed that very brief little update but i thought i'd just uh, record this one just while i've been doing a little bit of uh, work there'll probably be another uh, peak forest video or so because i did that last one in three parts in the meantime but uh yeah i'll bring you back as soon as i've got a bit more done on there uh, on this one okay folks so uh stay safe and i'll speak to you very soon bye for now
amazing, yeah?